you know, I've seen storage devices come and go. From the five and a quarter inch disc to clouds, storage devices will always be a part of our lives. Perhaps the most memorable of all of them is this guy. A lot of my old DOS games came in this format. A floppy disk is a storage disk rectangular in shape and consists of a thin and flexible magnetic storage medium and fabric that removes dust particles. If you were a child of the 80s like I was, you'd see this format more often due to the increased storage space and more durable material. Speaking of the 80s, it was in the early 80s that the 3.5 inch disk was introduced and many companies made the transition from 5.25 inch to 3.5 inch. It is interesting that a storage medium decreases in physical size yet increase in storage space. Anyways, 3.5 inch came in two varieties, the 360 kilobyte and 720 kilobyte. This represented single sided which came in 1983 and double sided disc which came in 1984. In 1986 we got the 1.44 megabyte 3.5 inch floppy disc. It shouldn't come as a surprise that this would be the standard of storage until the invention of the CD-ROM. This diagram shows off the individual parts that make up the 3.5 inch floppy disc. Of course, there were downsides to having a 3.5 inch disc. One would be the sensitivity of the film itself. It only takes a magnet to erase the contents on the disc. Another downside is sometimes the disc itself can be temperamental. What I mean is sometimes the disc works and sometimes it won't. One last downside is while most programs came on one or two discs, some came on 20 or even 30 discs. Can you imagine installing a program that requires so many discs? Alright, time to install this new piece of software with 40 discs. Alright, this is going smoothly. <sighs> Disc 19 of whatever. It's about time. This has been a video about floppy disks. I'm Kenjamin, and now you know what I'm talking about.